Just having a little talk with Cabana here. No big deal. Big announcement, guys. You ready? This one's huge. And I want you to prepare yourselves for this. <laughs> On Saturday, not this Saturday, but next Saturday, I'm sitting down with, uh, she's like a friend of mine, kind of. I know her from her work. She works at a movie theater. And she has asthma. And she suffered a stroke. And I don't know what else she has wrong with her. She lives with her mom. Her mom also suffered a stroke. What a coincidence. <laughs> anyway. Uh, and I think her mom has some issues too, but I, we haven't even spoken about them yet. She's agreed to go on camera, okay? And admit every instance that she's uh, broken one of the Ten Commandments, either in practice or in thought, okay? And I told her, I said, you know, the reason that you'll do this is because your asthma is going to go away. I know you don't, excuse me, I was like, there's no reason for you to believe this, but trust me, it's going to work. <laughs> and I know this because it worked for someone else last year. Uh, and I, I'm like, you're gonna freak out, and it's you know, gonna be whatever, but just, it'll be great. She's like, I don't have to use my inhaler. You're not gonna have to use anything. You're never gonna have an asthma attack again, unless you sin. And uh, once we record a video of you doing that, you're gonna watch it, and then I'm, I'm gonna put it online, okay? I'm like, don't worry, it'll be anonymous or whatever. The fact is like, I know you did it. And on the other end of this simulation, because we're going to not only prove simulation theory, but we're going to do some other shit too. Um, I didn't tell her all this stuff, these pieces. I'm letting you know. Um, I said, we're going to, you know, or I'm telling you that we're going to, uh, well, I told her, I was like, it proves this, you know, this whole simulation. And what we kind of talked about was, I was like, this whole reality, it's, it's like a video game, you know? She's like, it's like being John Malkovich or something like that, or a Truman Show or whatever. I was like, yeah, like that. There's cameras everywhere. Think of it like you're being monitored with everything that you do. And, uh, and I was like, what's the worst thing you've ever done? Uh, I was like, the worst thing I ever did is I stole $20,000. She's like, oh. She's like, I've done some bad shit. I'm like, I stole 20 G. She's like, well, not that bad. I'm like, yeah, of course not. She's like, I used to peddle drugs. <laughs> I was like, when did you stop? She goes, when I had the stroke. Unrelated, though. I'm like, yeah, right. <laughs> I didn't say that, though. And uh, anyway, so um, here's how this thing goes down. So on Saturday, next Saturday, I'm going to meet her. In the meantime, I'm going to be finishing the book, put, it, put the updated version online. The original version is already on Apple Books or whatever. Um, so that's like a record of saying between June 19th and next July 20th. Uh, you know, God solving for um, ways to put pressure on us as humanity, you know, as a human species or whatever. Um, and that little disaster that I kicked off, I mentioned earlier today, uh, yeah, the U.S. now shot down an Iranian drone, so there's your war piece. And I also think uh, Fort Lauderdale ran out of water, um, and 200,000 people don't have water. <laughs> water's turned to blood. That's a plague in Revelation. Uh, and since those are done, uh, I'm going to do another one now. So there's going to be another disaster, another plague from the book of Revelation that's going to hit, uh, you know, I don't know, it'll hit, uh, you know, by tomorrow. Uh, anyway, so uh, now we've got that out of the way. Um, here's how it goes down with the girl. So I'm going to get the confession. She's going to watch it. I'm going to put it on this channel, okay? I'm going to get footage of her realizing she can breathe. And I'm going to put it on the channel too on Sunday. Not this Sunday, but the next Sunday. So you tune in for it. Uh, and then she's going to run home, is my guess. Not, I'm going to tell her, don't tell anyone. She's going to tell her mom. <laughs> and then she's going to send me another confession for the mom. And then you're going to have two women whose illnesses magically go away. <laughs> and I'm going to be saying the whole time, uh, well, moving forward and including in the book, uh, which is included in the book, I'm not God. <laughs> uh, I'm what's called a prophet. Um, and I'm going to be saying, because it's true, and he's cool with this, <laughs> that Jesus wasn't God. He was just a guy. 
who believed in God more than any other human, uh, aside from Moses, me. I believe in God because I've actually seen God's face when vision, my vision pixelated. <laughs> see the face of God. See, the way that this is possible is because I know for a fact that God's there. Now, you don't because you haven't seen God's face, but that can change. If you put yourself as a white horse rider from the book of Revelation, you can use chapters 1 through 11, and you follow. This isn't me. This is through experiments, uh, trial and error, which is all included in the book. Um, God's will, because Jesus died, sacrificed his life, is to fulfill the book of Revelation. He's using it as a playbook for the end of days for us not to, to say, well, you know, the world's going to end. The world as we know it is it's officially going to start. Well, it's going to officially change once I upload this stuff on next Sunday. Um, so I want to prep you guys for it. You're going to have mania uh, go global all, and it'll be sudden. Surely I come quickly. It's, it's going to happen on Sunday when I upload this and the nose girls can shut the fuck up about their miraculous healing and all this shit and I'm just going to be pointing up saying it's all God. And Jesus, he's aware of all of this. Uh, he even said that he, not to worship him, to worship God in chapters 19 and 22 of Revelation. And for you, you know, you may look at Jesus as God, so when you confess, make sure you admit to idolatry. Uh, and by the way, you, uh, Christians get everything that was promised uh, that they expect. Well, not everything they expect because Christians expect me to show up in the fucking sky. <laughs> Cloud means internet. God's all for that. Um, you get revelation. You get the messianic era. You get the third temple. You get all that shit. You're going to get no illness. You're going to swallow death. We're going to defeat the Antichrist. But you're not going to worship Jesus. You worship God. And that's why this happens. You needed someone to hold... You needed someone, and this could have been you, to admit everything they did, they, they did wrong in their life online, and they would have noticed health benefits. Then they would have tested it with someone else, just like I've done before, and I'm going to do again on Sunday, but this time's going to be different. And it's going to uproot every family structure on this earth. <laughs> Whether it's, you know, your biological family, as mom and dad get pissed off that they have to admit <laughs> to their sins, and in doing so, they eradicate little Junior's illness. It's not a coincidence that this girl had a stroke and so did her mom. <laughs> uh, that jealous God he visits the iniquity of the fathers on three to four generations of the children, which means uh, mom, the parent, their sins can affect the child. Anyway, uh, let's see. So this thing is going to go like wildfire, and it's going to call into question every existing family structure, religions, people within religious organizations. They're going to take sides. And you're either with me, the lion, or you're with Donald Trump. That's it. The Christ or the Antichrist. <laughs> wow. Anyway, and as you get further into this, whichever side you happen to be on, you're going to, most people are going to roll over, you know, in time. But there's going to be people, uh, one third of humanity actually, which is going to die by next July because the realizing the fact that God's monitoring everything that you're thinking like each individual thought that's enough that concept right there is enough to hospitalize someone and you're going to have 7.7 .7 billion people with a new kind of system which none of them are prepared for everything's going into flux it's going to be awesome uh Okay, so then there's that. So I just wanted to prep you guys. Oh, yeah, and with the revelation thing. If you find out any person that you talk to on January 20, 2017, you can look in your phone records or whatever, 
or think about who you were with that day. If you made a prophecy about Donald Trump becoming president of the United States of America, saying this to this country's going to go down in fucking tubes, I can't believe that this happened. If you talk to someone about that, they're your witness, and you both can be white horse riders of the apocalypse, which means you save the world and usher in the messianic era. How you can uh, you can basically live out your own storyline by following just coincidences as if you're in a theme park for the next year or whatever, or whenever you decide to jump on board and go with this, but this is gonna come fast. And um, yeah, so there you go. Uh, put yourself in, in chapters one through 11. Now why not 12 through 22? The first half is designed for like participation of people. Anyone can do it. You know, you're like, oh, I'm, my white horse is not uh, physics or science. It's not, uh, mine was, you know, uh, cocaine. <laughs> it could be anything. And that, those coincidences lead to uh, your own, it's like a puzzle that um, if you follow that white horse, whatever yours happens to be, it'll be customized to you and then to lead you on this journey. And God knows you're playing along and losing everything. Make sure you record your journey and he'll show you his face. And then you'll be like, oh, God exists because I saw him. That's how Jesus healed people. Um, and anyway, eventually you'll get to chapter 11, which is where you and the second witness are prophesying. If God gives you that authority, like I can say there's a disaster or a plague and then bam, the U.S. and Iranian military to make contact again before Lauderdale runs out of water. <laughs> 200,000 people. I think it's 90 degrees there. They don't, you, when you don't have water, there's no air conditioning because there's no water to fuel the, that portion of the AC. Um, and once this message goes viral, the book is read, then God has an audience. And those disasters, they get worse. So right now, it's just him proving to me, you know, and whoever watches this, uh, these videos, it's been like a game. That's why there's, Jesus understood this. He's like, when I come back, there's gonna be uh, rumors of wars and all this, like, you know, storms and whatever in diverse places. Uh, which is him, he understood that he would have the global uh, picture. He would be able to see the entire world via the internet, the cloud, and be able to understand as he learned the system of interacting with God in terms of natural disasters. And now that I see this, this is the big picture, and once God has a global audience, Diaspora is over. If you believe in God, if you're Muslim, Jewish, Hindu, or Christian, you were to make your way to northern Israel and ride out the next 11 months or 12 months. And if, you, if, you, if you're one of the people who wail, all kindreds will wail by this message and refuse, that's fine. You're on your own. Whatever God you're praying to doesn't exist. <laughs> no offense. The God that exists knows that he's God and we're not. No big deal. It's just a matter of understanding that he was actually there the whole time. And then all of a sudden, miracles happen. So, wrap up whatever f affairs you have. Um, you may want to get prepared for this. Or not, it doesn't matter. But this thing's going to be in your face in the next two weeks. So not this Sunday, but next Sunday at, I don't know, by 5 p.m. I'll have the videos up. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take for those two women to spread this thing to their friends. See, sick people hang out with other sick people. And then their friends have their friends and their friends have their friends and bam, 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 and all of a sudden, boom, lion time. Show's on. So, hope you guys are well. See you around. Oh yeah, and by the way, chapters 12 through 22, uh, those are specific for the white horse rider, this white horse rider, one of you know, the guy who actually started this whole thing. God started it, I just prefer from the guy who actually, you know, 
with Frost.